Oh, he working out. Look, you can't even knock him. Oh, he like, he ain't hey, trying I'm to trying to catch the Corona 15. He ain't trying to do it. We all kind of ghetto right now. <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> all right. So Sadie said, example, three-dimensional three love is, by definition, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Ooh, don't get too deep. Don't get too deep. Say me because this is going to be good. And I think I really want to go a lot deeper with that when I do the brunch. But, I mean, it does go along the lines of what Lataja was saying with the dimensional love. Like, I, you know, yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm being confused. Okay, so intimacy, passion. Commitment. Commitment. Mm -hmm. So, like, what does that mean when it comes down to? It? I mean, I get that those are the things that you need to be loved, or to have love, or to give love. Mm -hmm. right? Is that is that one? Am I right? Like, these are the things that you need to give love or to have love. Intimacy. Think about it. I think to receive it to and receive to it. and be able to give it. I think it's both ways. Intimacy. Okay, and then passion. Yeah, because if you're not passionate about giving it, you wouldn't really care to receive it anyway because you don't care to even give it because you're not seeking it. And Does this make sense to what we're saying? What we drinking? We are drinking some apple Moscato. And it's really good too. I'm the. <laughs> yup. Okay, Miss Holly's gonna come on here and say what she gotta say. Okay. We're about to add you. Hold on. You look a mess. We look a mess. We all look a mess. Don't worry. You're quarantining. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Picking up my kids and everything. Anyway, so what I'm saying is um when I say like love is dimensional I mean, like, you know, obviously you don't love everybody the same. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm driving, so it's dark. <laughs> You're going to get a whole bunch of different shades of lights right now. But um, I feel like, you know, you don't love somebody the same. And, and sometimes you don't even love that person the same way. Like, I could love just, – just a perfect example is my baby daddy. Like, I used to love him so hard, you know, and now – I don't love him the same. It's a it's a totally different way that I love him. I love him. I have love for him. I used to be in love with him, you know. But just like for you, Marquia, like I, I have lots of love for you. I don't love you the same way that I love him. Even though like now, you know, we have a friendship now, me and my baby daddy. But I still don't love him the same way I love you as a friend. Okay. You know, there's different levels to love. There, you know, I could be like, oh, you know, just, just, you know, how you're talking. Oh my God, I love these shoes. They're my favorite. That's a level of love. That's a dimension of love. Oh my God, I love my mom. You know, but my my grandma raised me. Okay. That's that's a different level of love. You know what I'm saying? You love them the same. You know, but they, they but you just got a different type of love for them. Yeah, it's like a layer. It's like an onion. You know what I'm saying? It's like you love people differently. I got I got love for my first boyfriend, you know, whatever, whatever. I got love for in him. love with him and she's right. Yeah, but you know, now if I see him on the street, it's not like, you know, the love is lost. It's just that I don't love you like that anymore. The love is different. It's a different type of love. It's a different type of level. Gotcha. You know? Okay. And even in a relationship, you could you could fall out of love, but you could still love that person. You know, Explain I don't. How. Go ahead. How how do you fall out of love with a person but still love that person? Because you can love their spirit. You can love the person that they are. They they don't have to be a bad person for you not to be in love with them anymore. I you know I like like you know an ex boyfriend. You could say like you know. I used to love you, so I used to be infatuated with you. You know how you are when you when you first meet a guy, when you first start dating. You know, you're obsessed. You're like, that's my boo. That's my boo. Boo, boo. You know, 
But then after a while, you're like, listen, this is just not working out. I don't hate you, you know? We, I, well, I hope not. And even if you do get to the point to where you feel like, I hate this person, you know, there's still something in you because, you know, you still, you still got some type of love. And, and enough to hate them, you know? So you got to have some type of feelings for them. And that's just a level, you know, that's, that's a different dimension that you're at now. It's dimensional. I used to love you so much. We used to be, you know, in love. We used to have real good vibes. Now we don't vibe the same. Now we're just friends, you know, but I don't I don't wish any bad for you. Mm-hmm. You know? It's kind of like I love you, but I'm not fit to say From a distance. Love. From a distance. And even with friendships, Marquia, you know this all too well. You know, with our friends, it's like, hey, I love you, but... I just got to let you do you for a minute, you know? I got, it's a lot of friends right now that I love, but, you know, our friendship has taken a different turn, but I still love you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I st- if you called me today and told me you needed something from me, I-, I would still do it for you, even though I haven't spoke to you in years, or maybe I feel like you haven't shown me enough support, or, you know, I still got love for you. Right. That's a that's a different level of love that I had for you, say, two, three years ago when we was rocking heavy and, you know, doing whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Things change. People change. So is it? No, I get that because this is a few people that I don't have the same level of love for them anymore like I used to, but I still love them even though it's distance now. It's like, you know, yeah, it's more silence, definitely. But- I don't hate them, but I love them, but I'm not where it's I a, used to be with them. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think we've all felt that way before. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, I'm having a hard time just because, for me, I feel like there are different levels of love. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like intensity, I guess I was to say. Because mm-hmm. when you first are with somebody, it's intense. You know what I mean? You're infatuated. You deep. Right, you know? right. And I feel like, you know, that's that's the top level, right? You know, but yeah, I yeah. feel condition, unconditional love. You get what I mean? It's just different levels of it. Okay, okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. So you said even if the levels and the dimensions change, it's always going to be unconditional for you. So yeah, true. okay. I don't need people around that I feel like I don't want to love unconditionally. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I want the people around me to know that even if you piss me off tomorrow, the next day, or a year from now, you call my phone, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it may not be on the same level when we first met. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. It may not be on the same level, you know, when 20 you that unconditional yeah, level. Yeah, it'll just, okay. You know what I mean? And I will tell y'all this. The only reason I think this now, because I never used to think this before I had a child. Right? Because, and then I also feel like a lot of people feel like they're in love. And they're mm-hmm. not. You know, it's love True that. or infatuation, intense yeah. infatuation. You get what I mean? And that's what causes them to realize a year, or two years, three years later. It was lust. It was, you know, hard, I mean? hard lust. I don't love you. I, you know, I'm super crazy. That thing we did, you know, the, you know, the trips out of town. It's not just sex. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like the trips out of town, the little notes and the texts. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's a whole, you know, what I mean? it's a whole other vibe. But for me. You know, if it ever gets to the point where I'm at that last layer of We're going to get to you, James, since you're lightning, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was green drinking. But that's, that's super facts, though. Like, you got to be careful with that unconditional love because people yeah. will drain you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, people, for sure. It's always going to be love right there for her. You know? I, I definitely. It's not an easy thing. To love somebody unconditionally, it's just not. <laughs> it's, just, it's a hard thing to do. Ooh, you breaking up, boo? Yeah, you breaking up, Natasha. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. You got? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. What about now? Yeah. Okay. Clear. Clear sorry, I'm me. driving, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to quarantine, trying to pick my kids up and go home. You're supposed to be at Cause home. Because, look, I got unconditional love for them. Look, I'm <laughs> home. Yeah. But I'll tell you, like. I'm going home. I don't know if people are in love with me. They're not in love with them. That's because it ain't. You can't. I don't feel like. And 
Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I sound crazy. Did you see the comment, Latasha? What she about to refer to? What? Um, Bri has on, said, I say? feel like more people have been in love with me than I have been with them. They have lust for you. <clears throat> I feel the same. I don't feel like, I don't feel like, you know, in order to really feel like it's you investment. Know, I love you. Love you. Gotta, investment. You, you gotta feel something back. You get what I mean? You have to feel yeah. something back in order for you to be like, I love you. You know what I mean? No one's gonna be like, right. And you ain't never answered the phone or you never answer my text. And some you know, investment has happened. You get what I'm saying? So I feel mm -hmm. like those people are mis you know, confused about lust and love. Because there's no way that you can love me and you know very little about me. Right. And you know, the older you get, you know what I'm saying, just like just like um that not true. James was saying, um, the older you get, you gotta be careful how you love people because you know, the more you the more you know about how you wanna love and be loved, you know, the the the, the, the more cautious you are. You know, you like, okay, I'm not jumping head first into this, I'm not telling you I love you a month later like you you're strategic about it mm -hmm. even with your friendships you know what i'm saying like as we get older you're like listen i know what type of energy i want you know i know what type of people i want around me and you, you know separate the, you start to separate the difference absolutely how you don't know everything about pizza that's what people you know everything about pizza what come on the pizza tomato cheese pepperoni or whatever else you want <laughs> in the oven. don't play with me <laughs> you know yeah and now you can't like for some you gotta think people are deep and complex you know what I mean so for you to tell me that you love me without you know having what? any reciprocation back just means that you don't know what love is yeah I could be wrong what I have to <laughs> agree to disagree hold on read that message to me I'm driving y'all I can't see it I, what does it say? I agree to disagree. I used to let niggas step all over me just because I wanted to be happy. So they thought it was love. But I was younger. And I, uh, that was my younger naive days. Oh, okay. Growth is a powerful thing. <laughs> Growth is real. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, but Brie, did you feel like you loved them? And do you still feel like you love them now and that you loved them then? Do you feel like it was real? Looking back on it. They thought it was love because they don't know what love is. I mean, some people still don't. I, you know, it's a lot of people now, like, we know old-ass women that still don't know what love is. <laughs> like, they still letting their mans beat on them. They still thinking that, you know, that's love. They still letting people mistreat them, misuse them. You know, it's, it's, it's people still, I mean, you know. Um, I got you. Yeah, I think it just depends on the person and how they how, how mature they are and what right. their, their their brain capacity. Yeah, is. absolutely. But some people are a lot older than us who still don't have a clear vision of a lot of things that is really clear in life. True people. that. And so they're going through shit that we think is totally unnecessary, but they like this is everything. I gotta go through this, but they probably mm -hmm. need to go through it to grow, but. We're like, what the hell? Why are you doing that? Why are you going through that? But some people move a lot slow here. Yeah. But you know what? It's it's, it's a really about loving yourself. You know, like you gotta you gotta know what your capacity is as well. You gotta understand, like you know, I know how I want to be treated. I know my worth, and that right there, that's that's valuable. That's like gold. Knowing your worth, you know what I'm saying? Like, and really knowing it. Not just being like, oh, I know my words. I ain't trying to mess with no broke-ass nigga. <laughs> like, that's not it, sis. Like, knowing your worth is really knowing, like, I could upgrade anybody I fuck with. No matter what. Whoever I'm dealing with. I'm the one that's going to upgrade you, baby. No matter what. I don't care how you moving out here. I don't care if you got the bag or not. You upgraded over here. You know, so knowing your, knowing your worth, knowing, you know, that you love yourself, you are able to, you know what I'm saying, 
exude that to other people. You're able to give that love to other people. And that's why, you know, a lot of people like Marquia, you're you're a very good spirit. You know, you attract good people, you attract positive things. Yeah. A lot of people like to be around you because they know, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a good vibe. This is love. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is what love is. This is what it is when somebody gives a damn about themselves and me. You know, yeah, sometimes I mean, you gotta be an example to yourself so other people yeah. can and understand it around you because if you if you treat yourself shitty, ain't nobody gonna wanna hang out with you because they don't huh. be, like you don't love yourself, you. baby girl. Why would I why would I wanna be around you? You know, that type of stuff matters. You know, you gotta be able to to feel love and to be loved in order to give love anyway. And that's 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 just that on that, you know. It, yeah. with anybody and like I was just telling Sadie on, off, off the, um, on another subject I was more telling her like I think sometimes God puts us through a roller coaster of all kind of things just right. so you can learn and be better for the new people that come into your life right like, yes God, it's like it. shedding your skin or or you know coming out of your cocoon like not you know it's like it's levels to that too yeah i definitely agree but you can grow from pain and you can grow from hurt Ooh, mm -hmm. it takes some <laughs> preach <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm what Bree said most people don't love themselves huh. Huh. and that's super <laughs> <fast. Moment silence>. <laughs> okay <laughs> drop the mic for drop real Sometimes when people don't love themselves or know themselves, they don't know how to treat other people or to do hmm. right by other people. All they know is the example of what they give to themselves. Which Absolutely. Is trash. And they're like, I love you, I love you. And they don't understand that they love is trash as fuck. But then you got to ask, like, how deep does that go? You know what I'm saying? Does that go from, like, childhood? Does that go from, like, whatever type of trauma? Like, was your mama loving you? Was it a man that hurt you? Was it just you that just don't know that you're a queen? Like, what is it? <laughs> I feel like, you know, you don't. I just be saying some crazy shit. But I also feel like, I also feel like when it comes down to, like, people and they, and they, uh, I feel like when it comes down to situations like that, it's a lot of the times it's the absence of people. It's the absence of how to love. You get what I'm saying? Like if you don't know how to be a father because you never had a father. You don't know how to okay. love because you never were loved or you never saw anybody love. I really feel like that's the biggest reason why people don't know how to communicate, don't know how to love, just because they never had a real example of it. Except when it's mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the flip side of that, if you um have felt love before, mm -hmm. you're going to know how to give it and you're going to know how to seek it because you have experienced it in a beautiful way. Yeah. So it's, it's mm -hmm. to that because some people, they have never experienced it. They don't know what it feels like. They had so many people not be a part of their life to help them build those things. And they just, just don't have it. They just don't have it. Mm -hmm. And then... It's the flip side of that. When somebody has had it, and they get get around a lot of people who ain't never gonna give it to them, or it's not working towards giving it to them, they like this is a waste of my time. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know you can also touch on that too, because it's like you know, you know, um, a lot of men you know don't have fathers, and I know a lot of them are still good fathers themselves. You know, like. They didn't get that love. They didn't get that, you know, I don't know. I don't really feel like anybody's house is ideal. No, Nobody's family is ideal, of course. Everybody's family is fucked okay. up in their own way. But, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, my mama, I didn't get the love from my mama that I should have gotten, or I don't have the best relationship with my dad or whatever. But they're still great mothers and fathers. Do and, you, you know, agree that it's a lack of... Um, do you um, agree that it's a lack of um, emotional intelligence too? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's that's on everything. With with anything, you gotta be able to comprehend. Period. Yeah, I definitely yeah, agree. I agree For sure, you gotta be able to understand. <laughs> you know, one thing that I heard not too long ago was like, you can't. What is it? It was like um, 
basically like playing off of treat people how you want to be treated you know they're like love people how you want how you want to be loved but it's like you can't though you got to love people how they want to be loved you know I, you do you got to love them you got to know them and, and love them how they want to be loved you know what i'm saying because i can't love you the way i want to be loved i want you to love me the way i want to be loved and maybe the way you want to be loved is very different from the way that I want to be loved. I want to be talked to nicely. You want me to dog you out. You get off on that. Whatever. You know, it don't matter. Yeah, but, you know, you got to be able to comprehend that. You got to be able to, you know what yeah. I'm saying, to, to figure that out, especially if you love somebody. And that, that's with not just a romantic relationship, but even with the friendship. You know, there's some friends where, you know, it's like, okay. This is my friend that I know I can't take out of town because she gonna ask every five seconds, how much this cost? Okay, we ain't fooling with her, but I love her. You know why? Because this bitch throws some lit ass barbecue. I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Like we love her on a different level, you know? But I know that. I'm not gonna put you in a group of my friends and we trying to travel and do something because I know it's gonna be too much for you. It's gonna be too much for me. So, you know? Yeah, and, I, and that's a that's a that's something I'm going to have to um, talk about at some point too. How you can be friends with so many different types of people, but some friends you just can't put together. Right. I mean, it's just it's, right. Because <laughs> you know, I know all too well. Because we, when you have a broad personality and you have different type of friends, sometimes. Joe and, and Jack can't be around each other. Those are two different type of friends, two huh. different type of vibes, and you can't put those two together. And right. It's just not like, right. oh, I don't love y'all. I just love you different than I love you, and y'all can't be in the same room because y'all gonna create a whole different type of storm. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's it, it's been how please it's been like that since we've been little like come on now how many times have you seen your aunties or your uncles fighting or you know you like Ray Ray better not be over there because you know this and this and this <laughs> it's like I'm gonna slap him in his face if I see him you know that's your auntie but they love each other they they not gonna ever stop loving each other they'll beat yeah. somebody else up over their brother you know what I'm saying but it's it's levels to it you know what I'm saying it's just levels to it yeah. Let's talk on this love language, though. Who said that? Because I just yes. said that. I'm reading it now. <laughs> that right there. Do people, do everybody in here know their love language? Do they yes. Know? Everybody don't know. Do you know yours? No. I'm reading a book now as we speak, though. Okay. Oh? <laughs> I, like, I feel like I know what I like. But Yo, I you know what? Let's different. hear it. It's different. What do you think? I, for me, I, I think. I don't know the real, like, you know, terminology because I'm, again, reading the book now. But I feel like, for me, I, I would like little gestures. You know what I mean? Like, little things, like, little thoughts that I don't it's have. Affirmations? Like, yeah. Uh -huh. was, okay. But, yeah, that's, that would be Acts me, of right? service. That's a good one. Eat her. Eat by Jay. Yeah, that's a good one. Acts of service. That's one of my love languages. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like that. I'm also more of like, I like when, I like romance. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. like, Yeah, that's part of the acts of service, too. Yeah, you, you got to wind and guide me and make me <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know that for me, I'm going to try to do whatever it is that you need me to do. Because right. Like, you know what I mean? Not, if it's not acts of service or, you know, romance, whatever it is, if you want me to cook for you or, you know, I don't know. You know, then I just want it to be reciprocated. The thoughtfulness behind it. Yeah, quality time. Quality time is a big one. I got all five. I don't know. Let me let me let James in real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to you. You're gonna stay on it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be well, um, I'm pulling up to my house now. I gotta get the baby out, but I'm gonna be out here. I know, I know you're driving, but get that. Get some wine when you get in the house. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get James on here real quick. James, I hope you're ready. You got your wig straight. Where are you at? She at home drinking her wine too. So let's get James and see. 
James, I hope you got your wig straight. You got is, the light right. Is Sadie in here too? Yeah, Sadie in here. She she got a lot. She was saying a lot too. There we go. What's going on? I told you to put a hat on. <laughs> yeah, I had to put a hat on and a shirt on. I'm in yes. just. Cheers, cheers. So, what's your take on all this? I mean, like, we're going to talk about love at the brunch, but I want to wait till I got everybody, but I wanted to start stepping into it just a tad bit. Thank and you, then we'll start talking Green. about love languages and all of that. What's your take on it? Okay, so for love languages, right, Let's let me start there, because um, just me as a guy, sometimes I look at the love languages, I know what mine are, but there's one that sticks out to me. I feel like people abuse the hell out of it. And, you know, I think it's a part of this culture where everyone feels like someone has to do something for them. And um, that's receiving gifts. Like, I know how I perceive receiving gifts. And I'm not that person. Like, I'm not that person. I don't need to receive anything. I can do everything for myself. And I feel like anyone that I come into contact with, they should be just as self-sufficient. And if I do something for you, it's because I want to do it, not because you require it. And I feel like a lot of people who have receiving gifts as their love language, they use it as a way of getting the things that they want that they can't do for themselves. They that's just my, that's my perception. Can't say that's everybody. They push the envelope a little bit. The people. Well, she just lost one of her closest friends, right? And um, I think... And I, and I know one of my little cousins just joined this live, but um, I think I put my, um, my, my love of my friends a little bit higher than anyone else, um, simply because with the friends that you have, these are the people that you choose to have in your life. With your family, you don't really choose them, motherfuckers. You ain't gonna really like them. But the individuals that become your friends, these are the people that you said, you know what? We click. I like having you around. It's my choice to have you around. Family is not always the same. Um, for me personally, with my boo, I'm going to have to kind of put them on the same level uh, playing field with friendship because I believe when you're dating someone, you have to have a friendship. That's the most important thing. Like, without a friendship, it's nothing. Like, you can't, I, I need to be able to, to cut your ass out and then, you know, still look at you and be like, you know what? What you want to eat? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't do that with someone that's not your friend. Like, me and one of my best friends, we argue all the time. But, you know, it's never one of those things where I feel like, you know, we, we are not going to speak again. I'm never that mad to where I can't come back in five minutes and say, yo, is everything cool? Whereas if I don't like you as a person, if I don't have that friendship with you, I can ignore you, block you. I mean, you can become dead to me. Like Mariah Carey say, I, I don't know her. Like, that, that'll be me all day long. <laughs> That's my okay, I got a question. Okay, mm -hmm. so now your friends, your family, and your boo—do you right. love them unconditionally? Whew. Um, my friends, yes. My family, yes. My boo, absolutely not. Unless we got some time invested, and that's something that I think it gets defined over time. Um, no. Not just, it's just my brain working here. Now, if your boo and your friends are on the same level, right? Because your your boo should be your best friend before right. you ever. So wouldn't you love that person unconditionally because they were your friend? Right, but the difference is with someone that you're intimate with, you know, that, that relationship is going to evolve over time. It's always going to change. Whereas with our friends, typically our friends, our friendships, they remain the way that they are. There's not really much that needs to change with it. But, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone, you know, you have that dating phase and then you have that, you know, we're actually in this, we're official. And then depending on what you want, there comes, uh, okay, are we going to get married? Are we going to move in together? Are we going to have children? Um, hell, when you get sick, how am I going to take care of you? If I get sick, how am I going to, how are you going to take care of me? If you die, like all of these different changes that you have in a actual intimate relationship are very different from what you would have with your family and your friends. I mean, it's kind of, set for what you have with them. Even though you can go through a lot of changes with those other relationships, right. with with your your intimate relationship, it, it kind of sort of becomes like, you know what, if this doesn't happen the right way, it will end. Whereas with your friendships, you know, you put a little bit more work to secure those. And that's the difference, in my opinion. And you also not having sex with your friends versus your boo. So right, and that's important. 
So things are a lot different. Your your thought process and things is a lot different. I feel like I'm I'm learning now because my thing is right because I was swayed the other way before I had this call, right? But I feel like for me, I think where I want to go in my life, or maybe not even there yet, but where I want to go is I want to love everybody equally. Like I want, you know what I mean? I may not be here actually, but but now you know, listening to y'all, but I feel like that's what I want. Like if if I have a man. I want to love him unconditionally because he was, he is going to be my best friend before, you know, he my man, period. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, like, I would consider him my friend all throughout the time that we're together. I mean, he will be my lover and we will have sex. You know what I mean? He will be my friends with benefits, but he will be, you know, hopefully he will be my husband. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But that's what, like, I think that's the mentality that I want to have. I want to give unconditional love to everybody in my life. That's why I don't have a lot of people in my life because I'm very selective. Because I, you cannot give unconditional love to everybody. You know what I mean? But that's what I want. That's right. what I want. And that's what I was saying earlier too. Like you can't just up and say, you know what, I want to unconditionally love everybody because <laughs> some people will take that and drain the fuck out of Um, whoever Brie is, I just want y'all to know she's a damn fool. I just want y'all to know that. A damn fool and I and I love it. But yeah. Um it's what like, I was saying it's the demons. But what I was saying is like when it comes to loving your your significant other unconditionally, you know, I think with that type of love, you know, if you give that unconditional love to the wrong person, I think you said it earlier, they can drain the fuck out of you. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you just can't allow you and that's why I say with your significant other, that relationship is always gonna be redefined at different stages of the relationship. So it's kind of hard to just unconditionally love the person that you're in a relationship. Like, I look at my mom and dad. They've been together over God knows how long, damn near 40 years. And just the things that I've seen just since I've been born, just as I've become an adult, they've had to redefine what unconditional love means to both of them. And these are people that have been together since they were teenagers. So... You can't sit up here and tell me at this day and age that we're going to just say, oh, you know what? I'm going to love you unconditionally. What if she cheats? What if he cheats? What if, um, again, back to what I was saying, what if this person ends up having a heart attack? What if she gets cancer? All of these other things. Some people are just not equipped to handle those things. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it is, like it's, it's, it's not that they don't want to be there. It's just they don't know how to give that um, – they don't know how to give that love to the person in the right way, and that causes a strain. Right. So you can't you can't really say a significant other is always going to have unconditional love. Everybody, I don't know if you read the comments, James, but everybody's kind of aligned on the same accord with that. We all kind of agree with that. Right. And you know, um, you know, even in relationships, we all are still growing as individuals, so things are changing for yourself. So it might be a different perception to your mate and things are evolving and it can either grow or it can either die. It it, it can change. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, true. Does that answer your question? Yeah. (laughs) We pull on her in. Come come on in, come on in. I want to love without conditions. You know what I'm saying? That's just anybody in my life, period. My family, and I do not have a good relationship with my family, but I want them to know, and everybody to know, like if you're friends with me, if you're my man, or you're my sister from another mister, you know what I mean? That I'm gonna love you the same. Yeah, period. Like I would love my child, you know what I mean? And I will show up for him and I will show up. That's why, that's just gonna take time. That's yeah. gonna take time. I don't have a lot of friends because you can't trust people. I cut people off with quickness once I see something. But you can't always do that either, though. Like, sometimes, and I guess, and this is one of the things about me, I give all friends grace. Like, you know, I have to understand that sometimes they can't help, they can't help who they are. And if they're a good friend, you gotta, like, sometimes take some of the good with the bad with certain people. You know, um, I don't, I'm one of those people, I don't believe that any person that becomes my friend, they're my friend on accident. You know, if I've allowed you to be in my life for any reason, um, there was a purpose for you to be there. I, I And there are people I have went years without speaking to over petty shit, petty shit. But, you know, after sitting down, just really thinking about it, you know, it was like, you know, you were there at a time when I really needed you. And, you know, and I think this is something that comes with age, it comes with growth. 
you know, you have to be a little bit forgiving. Just a little bit. It ain't mean things have to be back to the way that they were. Like, I remember um, one of my one of my friends that I made here in South Florida, um, we had a falling out, and it was maybe two or three years. Nothing bad happened. It was just like, I think I went to one of the restaurants we used to go to all the time. I was like, you know what? I miss doing these little things. I just reached out for like, how you doing? And we've been cool then. Not saying we talk every day, because it, it, ain't, it ain't there. It ain't there. I don't, I don't too much fuck with you on the everyday level. But still, it's just like not holding on to that negativity at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, and then if that's really your friend, you have to have those conversations that are a little vulnerable, and it has to be like, okay, let's get over this little patch, but let's not ignore that it happened either. Yeah. Right. You got to acknowledge it, but this is the other thing, too. When you're acknowledging something that happened, like, one thing is a pet peeve of mine. Like, if we've acknowledged it, if we've moved on for it, if I've never done it again, why you keep bringing it up? Like, yeah. why is this a, a constant conversation? Like, people like that, I don't fuck with. And most of those people be Virgos. <laughs> I'm just going to go off camera right quick. <laughs> I'm going to go off camera. Anywho, move right along. Wait a minute. First of all, wait. Before we get on Virgos, because we're going to get on Virgos, stay right there. Then. Hold on. Okay. You answered. Okay. Say it. Say it. Let's catch up. She asked me, um, does anybody love me unconditionally? Yes. Yes and yes. Everybody in my life. Are you sure? My, I, don't, I don't keep people in my life that I, I know that I can't depend on. Right? I don't keep people in my life that I know if I say something wrong, you know, they're not going to be my friend the next day. You know, my, friend, my friendships last 15, 16 years. You know what I mean? And to me, you know what I'm saying? And it's just mm -hmm. like, I feel like I do, the guy that I'm talking to now, I couldn't tell you if he loves me unconditionally because we, we still do. You know what I mean? Right. But I know that the love that I'm willing to give to him is going to be unconditional. Whether he wants to, you know, love me back unconditionally, that's on him. But if he doesn't, then I'm going to move on. But the love that I will give will be unconditional regardless of how you treat me. Okay. I mean, that's one of the things, like, I, I, you can't say just because you know, you're able to depend on them. That means they love you unconditionally. It could be a person that every time you call them, they're there for you, and they can't stand your ass. They probably tell like whatever issue that you're telling them about. You know, they could probably be running all your business in the streets. I'm like, man, she done called me about five dollars again. Like, why this bitch ain't never got five dollars for gas? Like, you know, why she always need groceries? You know, so you can't really say just the people that I can depend on. They love me unconditionally. That's not really true. Some people just like hearing the bad shit that you go through. Well, not necessarily. I'm not talking about somebody that picks up the phone every time I call. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about somebody that checks on me, makes sure that I'm good, makes sure that my son is good. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. this is the type of things that I do for the people around me. And the right. people around me, they feel it for me. And it's just, it's a, it's a natural habit for them to be like, oh, what's going on? Oh, how you doing? You know what I mean? Because I will literally call you and be like, hey. What you doing? What you want to? How's life? You know what I mean? You good? Your parents good? Right. You know what I mean? Because that's how I am. So people, they fall in line. And the people who don't, I ended up moving them on along. Yeah, that's one of the things, like, for me personally, I just try to be careful with because, again, there are people who I feel like I could depend on. I'll use an example. My damn daddy. I love the nigga. I'm his namesake. We got the same name. But, and I know it's, he doesn't mean it from a bad way, but, like, for the person that I am, let's say if I got in a, a situation to where I needed something from them, right? Um, and I'm like, yo, Pop, you know, I need to borrow a $1,000. You know, I just got in this situation. My dad would make me feel so bad about asking for some damn money, even though he's still going to do it. But it's not, it's not something that I want to go through. You know, I, even though I know that I have it, I can depend on him. I, it's just like, I don't really feel like, having to deal with someone that's going to tear me down all, when I'm already at my lowest point. And that's what I mean. You can't really say the people that, that you can depend on um, are loving you unconditionally. Not saying that my pop don't like me. You know, me and him. No. You're, you're, but what I'm saying is sometimes people, will, they'll be dependable and they'll be there for you. They'll be your, the listening ear or even check on you. But they don't really give a fuck about you. Yeah. So you have to be really careful with that. That's what, oh, no, trust me. I had a 17-year, 15-year no, friendship that ended in January. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just it's things like that where people do evolve. Friends, family, everybody evolves. No one stays the same. And if they do, you should leave them alone. But like I feel like